Oh, welcome back. This is Jonathan Gardner, um, JG394. It's been two years since I uploaded my last video on Griffith's Introduction to Electrodynamics. I thought you guys deserve an update. Um, uh, for the past, gosh, at least six months, I've been working on the next video. Um, I've given up on the writing, put the camera over, on the, over the shoulder, writing with the markers and stuff like that. Uh, I just, over time, as I saw the mistakes that I made, um, I just grew dissatisfied with that method. And plus, my hand kept getting in the way. My handwriting isn't as clear as it could be. So I'm going to move towards this this method where I'm going to create a presentation using Beamer and LaTeX. And um, I'll just talk you guys through it. And um, hopefully, my approach to the math um, and things like that will, will actually give insight above and beyond the book. But you know, at the very least, you'll be getting the material from a second source if you're taking the class or for your first source if you don't have access to a, a class uh, or the book even. Um, uh, so these update videos, normally people talk about money. I'm going to share with you my money situation. I'm not looking for money. If you're, that's what you're wondering. I do put advertising on the videos. Um, my kind of hope was to support at least the equipment costs of having a camera. Um, there's no way that it's ever going to make me a living. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not PewDiePie. <laughs> but anyway, um, I, I'm going to participate in some different channels that you know, um, that will help organize the education materials. I'm not going to spend very much time on that at first. I'm going to produce the materials first and then work on integrating with those channels. One of them is Konoz, K-O-N-O-Z. I don't know if you've heard of them. I do have a channel. I'll try to find the link and put it in the description below. Um, but I do have a job. I have had a job. Uh, one of the reasons why I started the videos was I had a job that I found to be extremely boring. Um, my company that I worked for sold, uh, basically sold us to another company and, and you know, I took up the offer. They had a really great bonus and compensation scheme, so why not? You know, but the truth was the company wasn't doing anything very interesting. And uh, so for the first year there, first year and a half, um, I was super bored at work, so I'd come home make these videos because it was interesting. Uh, and when I was at work, you know, waiting for things to compile or waiting for you know data runs to complete, I was reading the physics books, and I happened to be right next to the University of Washington campus, so I was able to every once in a while go visit one of the colloquiums uh, at the physics building down there. And um, so uh, since then, work did pick up. We developed something that was really cool. Um, it was so good, in fact, that the company basically let us go. So we got our bonus early. And then I got picked up by another company that, uh, well, we're building something pretty awesome. I'm not going to advertise it here. Um, we're building something really awesome, and um, I'm super busy in that. But I think I do have enough time, a couple hours a week, to, to work on this. So I should be able to do one or two videos a week. Um, of course, 9.1.2 is a killer section. This is one of those sections where Griffith starts waving his hands a lot. But um, I think I have a wrap around it. I think it's it's ready to go. I'm about halfway done with the slides. I've figured out the presentation method I want to use, and I'm ready to go. Um, so money-wise, I'm not looking for money. Um, the big, bold conspiracy that I'm participating in is I want to um, be part of that the change that's happening in education. The... Um, uh, there is a change happening. I don't know if you guys can tell. Of course you can tell. Uh, you're here watching this video. But uh, one day you're going to wake up and there's not going to be universities. There's not going to be schools anymore. It's just people are going to be able to go to the internet and get what they need in terms of education. There's going to be enough resources out there that going to a classroom for six hours a day is just not going to make any sense anymore. Um, I already homeschool my kids. Um, they, My son's 14 years old. He's wrapping up uh, the Singapore math curriculum for high school. And uh, I'm gonna, I want to build a calculus course specifically for him, but I'm gonna share it with you guys, of course, based on Wood's Calculus, which is the famous 1920s uh, textbook. You can find PDFs of it online. And um, oh, that's by the way, the same curriculum that was used to train the top physicists of the 20th century. So um, I really like his approach. It's very clean, very simple. I also want to get into quantum mechanics. I want to do it differently than anybody's ever done it before. Um, I want to make it approachable by people that have an understanding of how calculus works. Um, perhaps they might even pick up calculus by watching the videos, but I'm going to try to make it as accessible as possible to the layman. So it's going to be built upon uh, previous topics, very um, academic lecture type stuff, of course. Uh, so hopefully one day people will be able to watch these videos. Maybe not this particular videos. I might redo it or somebody else might come along that does it better than me. Um, but hopefully um, it'll be some benefit to people out there uh, in some faraway land or maybe here at home in America. Um, but hopefully, uh, you know, I can be a part of that effort to, to really make education accessible to people. That's my big dream. I'm not really interested in the money, of course. That's what I'm trying to explain. Uh, how can you help? Well, you guys have been a tremendous support. Getting 6,000 subscribers or some odd, I don't know how many there are. Just There's way more than I can count. Um, your comments, your suggestions have been invaluable. The positive and negative ones, of course. 
Um, it's of course one of the reasons why I was looking for a new method was because I realized my old method just simply wasn't working for people. Um, you can continue to like, share, subscribe, do things like that. That really helps to get the word out. You can, uh, of course, uh, feedback, I said that. Like, share, subscribe, yeah. And the other thing you can do is um, you know, make recommendations or start making your own videos. There's something you know that you can lecture on. Well, you can start doing your own. And I probably will share a video with the process that I use so other people could follow in my footsteps. It's pretty easy to, to do it. Um, LaTeX is still the superior tool for math presentations. And with that, I don't know if there's anything else to add. Um, thanks for listening to me ramble. Um, I, this is, again, my apology for not making videos for two years and hopefully an explanation of why. Oh, I should also mention that I have five kids at home, 14 through 7. Uh, of course, a wife, you know, busy um, suburban middle class lifestyle that I'm living here in America. So that always gets in the way, of course, mowing the lawns and things like that. Um, but I should do this a couple hours a week. I should be able to, when I'm in productive mode, I should be able to bang out one, maybe two videos a week. And um, they'll be much more organized. You know, before I'm doing it late, late at night, uh, just kind of off the cuff, now I'll be able to do it in a much more precise manner. So thanks for listening. Take care and bye-bye.